I mean, this entire year, we have been celebrating the 30th anniversary of the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. And uh, of course, we had all of these wonderful parties planned and events planned, but that very quickly got turned into more of a virtual world. So that was a little disappointing, but we're wrapping up the year with uh, 30 new images from what's called the Caldwell Catalog. These are 30 images that we took from our archives and we reprocessed them and we've just released them today to sort of be, you know, 30 new images for 30 years of Hubble, things you can see from your backyard as well. You, you have this wonderful opportunity to see the whole universe change and evolve just by looking at things at different distances and seeing how they, they look at Hubble as, as, you know, something that far away took billions of years for light to get to us and, and so on. So it, there's so many things Hubble can look at. And I, I, you know, I'm just really excited that it's still up there and still working. Mars is still putting on this incredible show. You know, Mars is still big and bright, and, and to me, it looks very, very red. So um, the winter sky is my favorite sky to look at anyway. I mean, my, my favorite thing in the world to look at is the constellation Orion and the Orion Nebula. And of course, that's very high in the sky in the winter. So I mean, December is just a perfect, a perfect time, except it's kind of cold for, for going outside and looking at the sky. The universe is actually accelerating. It's actually getting faster in its expansion over time. No one expected this. And so by, by imaging galaxies billions and billions of years ago, we're going to try to figure out what happened, what, when this acceleration started, and, uh, and, and whether it was even. There, there's actually some suggestion that it's changed over time. So you know, we have some big mysteries to go after with the follow-ons to Hubble, both the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope and then, of course, the James Webb Space Telescope being launched later, uh, later this coming year.